Okay, guys, uh, welcome to uh, week eight of your uh, IT210 class here at University of Phoenix. Uh, I just want to throw together a quick tutorial uh, on your uh, on your final assignment uh, that's due uh, at the end of this week. Uh, and this is basically uh, to see if you guys uh, know object-oriented design. Uh, and I know this is a, a pretty complex topic that uh, is going to take uh, a lot of, of time and effort to really understand uh, but I will say that uh, the reading material here listed uh, in chapter 8 uh, of your materials uh, is, is, is good material um, but it's definitely if you've never done software before uh, it's definitely going to take time to kind of absorb uh, and really uh, get to know it which I know they only give you a week uh, to do this, um, but that's beyond my control. Um, the only thing I can say is just uh, just keep at it and keep looking at these examples because I think once one light bulb goes off, uh, a bunch of light bulbs are going to go off. Uh, but what I wanted to do was let's let's go ahead and take a look at the rubric, uh, and I want to kind of help you guys out as far as uh, what what I'm expecting here. Okay, so within the uh, the rubric for this assignment. Uh, this is for your 90 point week week eight assignment due on Sunday. I need to see that the classes are correctly identified. Okay, what is what does that mean? What do classes are correctly identified mean? That means that I want to see code pseudocode that looks like this, where you're defining uh, a class. Okay, and for your assignment, uh, your assignment is basically. Uh, let me pull that up here real quick. Uh, your assignment is basically to create an object-oriented design for a system that keeps track of your CD and DVD collection, okay? So you need to think about what classes are going to be useful uh, for a CD and DVD collection, okay? So let's go back to the example here. Um, so they, so I need to see two things. Here in, in the example in Chapter 8, they create this cube class. Uh, and this is basically a generalized class that can, you know, compute the volume and get the volume uh, of a basic cube and then they create a specialized class called square box uh, that is a little bit different from the cube okay so for your assignment uh, basically since this is a CD and DVD collection uh, I think they're they're basically wanting what I need to see is that you can generalize uh, a CD and a DVD to have a common base class so for example a CD and DVD uh, they're both uh, disks, right? So I would create uh, a class called disk, okay? And then within this class called disk, uh, was called the base class, you need to figure out, okay, what are some of the, the commonalities that both a music CD and the, and the, and the movie DVD have uh, in common? Uh, well, for example, the first thing is they both have titles, right? Every CD and DVD has a title. Uh, so, you know, one of the parameters up here uh, for that disk should be title. Uh, and you guys need to decide uh, what kind of uh, variable type uh, title is, and, and you guys know how to do that by now. Uh, the next thing that, let's say, this, this base class disk would have is a, is a genre, right? Uh, every music and, and, and movie uh, all have a genre, and so that's, that's going to definitely be another variable uh, that's going to be added to the top of this class list. You know what kind of variable that is. Uh, that's up to you. And then for uh, this this disk base class, uh, they want you to come up with some uh, sub programs or functions, uh, and what we've been calling modules up to now. So whether or not you guys want to call it a sub a sub program or function, uh, you know what? As long as you call it a module, uh, and tell me uh, what the module name is with the parameters. Uh, I'm going to be happy. So uh, don't worry about is it a sub program or is it a function. Uh, I just need to know that you guys understand some good programming practices and come up with some good modules that will help this base this class out. So for example, what's what's a good um, uh, function that will help this base class out? Uh, for example, setting the title or setting the genre, right? Because we know we have uh, these two these two variables at the top here. Uh, we know we need to be able to uh, to set them, just like they do here, right? They want to be able to set uh, the side guy, okay? So 
Same with your, your base class disc. You want to be able to set the title or set the genre. So you need to make sure you have uh, modules to do that. And then there may be, you know, a, a few other functions uh, that you can think of off, off the top of your head uh, that would be useful for this base class uh, disc function, and you should include those as well. Okay, once you have that base class defined here, okay, once you have that base class defined uh, in your Word document, now you need to start thinking about the two specialized classes, the uh, the CD, uh, the CD, um, CD as disc, right, class CD as disc, which is a music CD uh, that inherits your disc base class, right, that's what this part means, it's saying create this new class, but within this new class I want you to, to uh, use this base class uh, as all of its uh, kind of inherits as a parent. So this class square box as cube is a new class with new variables, but it also has all of this functionality automatically goes into it. Okay, so as soon as you use a parent class or a base class, which you guys are going to say a class CD as disk, right? Now you guys automatically inherit all of this functionality and variables and you can add new variables and functionality okay so what's what's different between a a, a music CD uh, in the base class here uh, well for for one for example up here you know in our in our in our base class in our base disc class we just set the title and the genre right down here as a music CD you have an artist right so you may want to declare uh, an artist variable and figure out you know what, what kind of data type does the artist variable need to be uh, and then you know create some modules uh, that are based around this artist guy that'll that'll help you out um, okay with with your new uh, class music CD as disk class okay um, and then once you're done with that create a third class called class let's say DVD as disk right okay and what's what's the you know what's different between uh, a DVD and a music CD um, well for example uh, let's say director right there's no there's no director uh, on a music CD okay so maybe uh, for your DVD class you would have a director uh, as uh, as as a variable within your class okay so so basically you start out with a base class okay and you guys are going to use disk uh, and then you move on to create specialized classes that revolve that that are our children of that base class okay so you guys basically would have this base class disk and then you would have two child classes called uh, let's say music CD uh, and DVD okay and then within that music CD and DVD class you want to do specialized uh, variables that pertain only to those classes so for the music CD class, uh, you know, you, you basically want, uh, say, artist or song list. For the DVD uh, disc, you basically want things like director uh, and maybe actor list, right? So those, that's, that's I, need to, I need to know that you guys can tell the difference between a base class and then use that base class to create specialized classes, okay? So let's go back and look at your rubric. Uh, let's go back and look at your rubric here. So that's going to basically, if you show me that your classes are identified correctly via the pseudocode, that's going to be 25 points. And then the associated data and functions. Okay, what is the associated data and functions? That's this part, right? <clears throat> so as long as I know that you guys can uh, associate the correct data and functions to these, uh, to these classes, uh, I'm going to be happy and give you full credit there, okay? Um, so, you know, that's, that's three quarters of the assignment is that I need to know you guys can create base classes, uh, and specialized classes. Okay. And then the last thing I need you guys to do is this GUI prototype. Okay. What, what in the heck is a GUI prototype? Well, let's go ahead and pull back up our chapter eight. And if you scroll way down here, way down to about, uh, here, here's an example of a GUI and, and you guys know what GUIs are. I mean, it's your basic windows applications that, uh, that are presented in window form uh, that enable you to communicate with the application. For example, this is the print GUI, right? And you notice that uh, it has fields for the name, for the status, for the type, 
it's got a properties button here uh, and then they give you another example down here of a basic let's say simple uh, program called an area calculator where you only need two parameters so they just provide you with the two text boxes uh, and then when uh, the user enters in values and then there's two text boxes he can click on the calculate button um, while well, he probably enters in a value here clicks on the calculate button and then the outputs here uh, but this is a super simple GUI uh, the GUI that you guys need um, can be as simple or as complex uh, as you want to make it um, as long as that the GUI will basically utilize uh, all of the all of the modules uh, that you guys come up with let's see if I can find it again as long as the GUI can utilize all of these all of these modules here um, to do something useful uh, I'm gonna be a happy man so for example you guys have uh, CDs and DVD movie movies um, with titles with artists with directors uh, you know design a GUI and when I say design a GUI I mean either go into paint or go into word uh, use the word shapes you know use rectangles and just draw a real basic um, real basic what the GUI is gonna look like the main form you know draw your buttons you can draw you know just using rectangles okay and then use the little uh, text feature to type in uh, you know any of the text that's going to appear on the GUI screen, but just create a GUI that that will utilize your class as well. Okay, and that's gonna that's gonna clue me in that a you guys can create uh, base classes and specialized classes, and b that you can create uh, a GUI that knows how to use those classes. Okay, and that is basically uh, your assignment worth 90 points. Okay, so uh, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, email me uh, if you if you have any more questions. Um, but that's basically it. So I need code that looks like, you know, in your Word document, I need code that looks like this with a base class and some specialized classes. I need variables within those classes. Okay, and then I need modules within uh, each of these classes. And then I need uh, a GUI. Uh, GUI that looks like uh, you know these GUIs that are on the bottom here right and and you can just use the the simple word word draw stuff okay uh, I hope that helps everybody out and I look forward to your submissions thank you